You need to continue to use use your intuition, Spirit is saying. Spirit is saying, continue. I can't see it's dark in here. Spirit is saying to continue to use your intuition. Spirit says you are not crazy. I want you to hear that, okay? It says intuition. I'm hearing spirit say continue to use. It is so pretty outside. Continue to use your intuition, spirit is saying. And I'm hearing spirit say you are not crazy. It's beautiful out there. Oh, I wish y'all could see this sun over the colors, y'all, out the window. It's so pretty with the clouds because it's been some storms hitting. Those clouds, they kind of low, too. Look like something. Those clouds, those clouds are extremely low tonight, y'all, in fact. And I've never seen them that low because at first they, you know, I wanted to say cracked open. <laughs> Good afternoon. I mean, good evening, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning. Grand rising according to your time zone. Okay. It's it's all right. <laughs> Continue to use your intuition. Shh. Continue to use your intuition. Spirit is saying. Your intuition. Um. Is helping you to, to level up. You are being spiritually guided. You are being guided. Okay. So spirit says when you when you get the hearing things or picking up on things when you get the feeling a certain type of way, don't neglect yourself. Don't say look you know what I don't feel. Don't let nobody make you feel like what you feeling is something wrong. Spirit say you ain't crazy. Continue using your intuition. You are about to level up. CC. Oh, they just found the things. It's okay. You are about to level up. Okay, spirit is saying spirit wants wants us to um not just level up like you level up your life for success. But spirit is saying we need to get to a point where we are trying to level up our thinking, level up our reactions, level up the way that we respond to certain situations. Spirit is saying what we really need to work on is try not to let others to bring. I'm hearing this. People will try to cause rage in you. You understand? Spirit is saying continue to use your intuition to know when 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 you are being attacked. Spirit is saying, use your intuition to know the trick to know when you are being attacked. Spirit is saying you have uh, because you have this is a spiritual world, a spiritual warfare is where I'm hearing. People will try to get do things um, intentionally to cause you to have rage. Spirit is saying, spirit wants us to get to a point where we walk away from things. Spirit is saying, spirit wants us to get to a point where we blocking things out. Do not. Spirit say don't allow nobody to cause rage in you. They he okay. They know they babies. Spirit is saying don't allow nobody to cause rage in you. Continue to use your discernment and your intuition when, when something not sitting right with you. If you go somewhere and you're around others and you feel like that they, they you the only one don't know shit. You around people and you feel like you the only one being left out. Spirit say use your intuition. It is time to level up our thinking. Spirit is saying level up. So not just leveling up with like material things. Spirit wants us to grow. Stop, Baba. Spirit wants us to grow in our conscious thinking, in our actions, and knowing and learning discernment when people are triggering triggering you to be rageful. Step away. I'm hearing spirit say, "Let go." Leveling up. So leveling up is just much more than okay. I got a new position at a job. Okay, leveling up is us needing to work on our health. Leveling up is on us needing to drink more water. Leveling up was needing to take care of ourselves. That's a level up, spirit is saying. And then this also could be too. A rage for woman. A rage for woman. I'm getting three. But a rage for woman. Who is upset in regards to you leveling up because your intuition is your gift. Your intuition, CC, your intuition is your gift. So it could be a rageful woman. 
who was upset because you are leveling up and using your intuition to call the bullshit. Thank you, spirit. I'm listening. They okay. So, uh uh, don't put that around her. So, forgiveness. Let him play the phone with you, sissy. Don't do that, Bubba. You're going to hurt yourself. Do you see the sunset? You see the sunset outside? Is it pretty? Look, okay. So, forgiveness. Spirit say, forgive yourself for the things that you did not. You, I mean, you you are growing. But a lot of things, a lot of times, you we carry regret and shame in our lives because we just didn't see the things that we are seeing now. So a lot of times God gives you this period where you are going through a self-reflection and you are seeing you are seeing the things that you allowed in your life. And that that allows you to feel shameful from the things that you are. You allowed yourself when you didn't know no better. The spirit is saying, learn to forgive yourself, forgive yourself. Spirit is saying, OK. It's that shame card. Spirit is saying, learn. It's okay for you to forgive yourself from the things you didn't know. So the thing, the the things that you did not know. What's wrong with him, Jacora? What's wrong with him? Then they wait for me to say something. Spirit say it's okay for you to forgive yourself from the things that you did not know. You are worthy. The things that you did not know before. You know what I'm saying? The things that you did not know before, that's all of the things when you, you when you were unaware that caused this shame collective. Hell yeah, we walk with shame. Hell yeah, I walk with shame. Because it's a lot of things as God got you, the closer you get to God, he begins to show you things. And like I said, a lot of times in your life you went through things making um, bad choices. Or, you know, uh, following the wrong desires or whatever it led you to, to. It always led you in the wrong direction or kept you from growing. But God is saying, Spirit is saying that, yeah, you are worthy. It's okay to forgive yourself. This is soul forgiveness. Ancestor Spirit is saying that they want you to forgive yourself from the things that you did not know that made you. This is why a lot of us collectively, you do got shame. We carry shame. I carry shame. It could be from your past, the things that you are recalling that made you feel uncomfortable. These are the things that allows you to feel shame. Ancestors say, want you to know that you are worthy. You are deserving. You are beautiful. Ancestors want you to know that there are there is good in the world out there. Yeah, it may not have been around your family. Yeah, it may not have been around those that say so-called say they love you. But ancestors and spirit want you to know that outside in that world, there is love for you. And it's okay to let this shame go. And forgive yourself from the things that you allowed that you did not know when you were unable, when, incapable of seeing. Soul forgiveness is very important during this time. Okay? Thank you. That's a beautiful message. That's a message for to uplift the collective. Those who are in spirit, I understand because we are one. It is shameful to tell your story. It is shameful when you know when you when you see that you were this you were just I mean, you was you didn't know that you were this 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 golden star seed child. All you knew was that you faced life being alone and betrayed by so many people who were intimidated by you. They weren't intimidated by what you had because to them, that don't mean nothing. These people wanted to suck your energy, spirit is saying. These people were intimidated by your light, you understand, by your heart, okay? They didn't understand, and they want you to feel like others don't love you, spirit is saying. But spirit is saying, out there in that world, you will find goodness. Let this shame go, spirit is saying. Spirit say, let the shame go. Don't be ashamed of letting you go on through. It's time to let it out, spirit is saying. And I think a lot of y'all say that too. When you be like, it's okay, we hear your kids in the background. We know that you're a mother and all of that. So I appreciate y'all because that is shame. Why am I ashamed to do these readings? Okay, I got children. Okay, this is it. This is our space, you know. They are always here. So I can't help that. And I love my children. So Spirit is saying, don't, don't, don't let nobody make you feel shameful for your children. God sees all. It's okay. God knows your circumstances. He knows that you are trying to put forth effort to bring these messages to the collective. But he also knows that you got children too. God understands. God said we understand and we see your babies. We love them. Let them play. Continue doing your readings. Don't stop because you feel ashamed for your kids are loud. Spirit say remove that shame that's in your life trying to make you feel like that. That is a, that is a spirit. 
That is an entity. Shame is an entity. I remove the spirit of entity right now that has me fearful to continue on. That has me fearful to, to you know, being capable. That is the spirit of, fe of fear and shame. Spirit say you are worthy. Now you are at a point. Spirit just wants you to forgive yourself for the things that you just did not know when you were incapable of seeing. Okay. Spirit wants me to tell you that. This sky's so pretty, y'all. I promise you. <laughs> now, this is a night where I would want to be on a mountain. Just looking at this, embracing this. Now, I, I'm looking out the window. All I see is other people's apartments. I don't want to see that. I want, I want to be at space. <laughs> I want to be able to look out and be at peace. No matter where you go, evil surrounds you. No matter where you go, evil will surround you. Self-sabotage. I kept getting this, okay? Okay. Self-sabotage is like saying that this is where someone tries to... Okay, I'm going to tell you something. When you self-sabotage somebody, right? That's like, okay, say you have... Um, this is somebody trying to make you look bad. Somebody trying to make you look as if you are this horrible person. Or trying to get you, but in the way that they're doing it, they're getting you to um, engage in doing it yourself. So it's like they, so it's like they, 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 they're, they're using. It's some kind of way. This is some uh, reverse psychology type shit. I'm seeing. People can use reverse psychology shit. You understand? Your family knew by abandoning you, you weren't gonna have help with your kids. So uh, your family who abandoned you and ain't helping you with your kids know that you get tired physically. But better yet, they'll look at you like you a bad mama because you physically tired. Wanting you to kill your fucking self. As they sit back and watch so they can hurry up and call CPS and say she a bad mama for neg neglecting her kids. You see what I'm saying? This is your family. This is how they, the ones close to you try to make you look. Knowing that you physically tired, they motherfucking ass got people coming to pick their fucking kids up. They get a break. They motherfucking ass going to the shop, getting their hair done, whatever it is, getting their barb, their hair cut, hanging out with their friends. You always with your fucking children. And they make you look like you a bad mama or a bad daddy when you get fucking tired. Physically, because they not helping you physically. They always say you can tell how a child is being um, loved or a woman is being loved when they look at the children. But spirit is talking about the self tab sabotage. Somebody's trying to get you to self sabotage yourself so they can get you. Um, I'm, this, this some this energy here coming out, y'all. But spirit is saying God sees all. You see why they think they doing shit to self make you self sabotage yourself? Call you a bad mama? Try to get your kids taken away from you? CPS or whoever the fuck they need to call need to say, well, do you reach out and help them? Do you do anything physically for the children to give her a break? Fuck no. So self-sabotage spirits say backfired. It ain't going to work. God is sitting around looking at everything. Hell yeah, it be hard. Hell yeah, I get fucking tired. Hell yeah, sometimes I be like, oh, I want me time and I feel guilty. Don't feel guilty about being a mama that's fucking tired and saying I need some me time. Do you try to, the devil try to make you feel like you a bad mama just for saying that. Or make you feel like you a single father. Make you feel like you a bad father because you say, damn, I always got my kids. And I just want some me time. Don't let nobody self-sabotage you with their lies and their deception or their false perception of you. Spirit is saying. Thank you, ancestors. Let them have it, baby. Ancestors gut. I told y'all. Ancestors see everything. God see everything. Try to self-sabotage me so I can feel shameful about what the fuck I'm going through. Spirit say, forgive yourself. These are lies of the enemy. They try to have you acting all outraged like you ain't got no rageful. These people are rageful because I'm telling you these some evil people. Spirit say, Spirit wants you to know that you are worthy of this level up. You're about to level up. Spirit say, you have always had the gift of intuition and you is not crazy. Don't let nobody call you crazy. Now, what they want, baby? What they thought, baby? Ancestors on y'all ass. I'm telling you. I'm not playing. Forgive yourself, baby. You will never get forgiveness from these type of people. They won't take accountability. But now it's their time to feel the wrath of God, even unto death, as God said. So that means you, 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 you don't know things that fucking happen to the collective who went through life being abandoned and used by people. Men being used by women and women being used by men and having babies for control. Y'all don't know what our story, our ancestors, what our ancestors in history is saying? Spirit is talking. 
Keep talking, and say I don't know. This might be, I don't know who to see. Take over, though, baby. Take over this vessel. Get your message out. Cause they don't understand. They, they uh, yeah. You gonna quit playing with spirit? You wanna play? I'm gonna give you something to play with, baby. Look what ancestors said. What they say? Speak up. You don't think they right here talking? Use this vessel, baby. Use this vessel. I give myself to you. I shape ancestors. Now what's up? Ancestors say, speak up. Y'all gonna quit playing like playing. Quit playing in the flesh, baby. That's what ancestors saying. Quit playing in the flesh and step into your spiritual side, baby. That's the side you fucking fear. Yeah, because all things will be revealed, baby. Yeah. Step into the step on the other side. Step into the light, Carol Ann. Yeah, you got a fearless love. You are you are being looked at spirit of saying you have a fearless love. You ain't come to this world for yourself. You came to this world to shed light and to help others with your messages, Spirit of Saying. Everybody got a purpose and a call in Spirit of Saying. And the reason people ain't walking, they don't see nothing moving in their life because people not walking in they, they, they calling. That's why they like be on a standstill and they can't figure out. So they become, they become jealous when they don't understand why things working out for you. You sitting here doing the work, putting all your, 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 putting all your shit out on the table about you. You telling your story, even if it's embarrassing, humiliating. You feel me? Even if you don't fit in with, with anybody else, you, you doing the work within yourself. The inner workers will, will set you free, spirit of saying. Yeah, you got a fearless love. Thank you, Oshun. Yeah, you got a fearless love. You Don't fear this love. Just be fearless, love. <laughs> I heard that. Don't fear this love. Just be fearless. Love is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Thank you, Oshun. Hold on while I'm doing this, please. Going through a beautiful awakening. You are able to see now. These people thought you was dumb and naive and didn't know what they was doing to you. You woke up to their bullshit. Hell yeah, now I see that what abandonment did to me, not only just to me, but now what y'all trying to use against my children. You think by abandoning me, walking out of my life, you want me to be a bad mama and a bad daddy like y'all motherfuckers, like the parents I had. You want me to be like y'all. Be like that to my children. Yeah, I'm physically tired without the physical help, but y'all will never give me to be like y'all. Spirit is saying this right now through these cards because you're going through a beautiful awakening. Spirit say these people want you to run back to them. You know the energy like um, I, I, they want you to beg. Beg them for love. They, Spirit say these people thought you was going to come back begging them for love. Spirit say these people wanted to get you in a position where you needed them. Fuck no. You need God, baby. You need to find yourself. Find yourself. Find your peace. Lock that door. They thought you was going to run to them. No, baby. You, you listen. You chasing the wind, my love. You don't fear God's love. You, fear, you are a fearless love. You understand. They fear it. They fear God's love because they refuse to change. Changing is too uncomfortable for these beasts. Spirit is saying. That's why they stay stuck trying to drag others down or harvest their energy. But you can't harvest the God child. You can't harvest a, a, somebody who, who already did the work and expose their own shit. Expose their own trauma. Expose their own family. You have nothing to fear. I lay it all on the table when shit is not right. Spirit is saying, speak up. It's not fucking right, y'all. They thought you was going to beg and They want you to feel like you're powerless. But God saying the strength that you got, they don't know that you, um, you know, do you know how many people we had to leave behind? Do you know how many people we had to leave behind? Do you know how many people I had to leave behind? You think I'm a, are you, you think I fear leaving you behind? Fuck no. You thought I was going to run back? Spirit is talking y'all because this is the energy that's coming through. <coughs> True love, will hurt, uh, they'll help you. Ancestors want me to tell you that. People walked out of your life, know you got little bitty babies, know that you, you can't go to work because you always got your children. Ain't nobody else going to keep them. You just show don't trust nobody else to keep your children knowing all of the, the lies and secrets that they have passed down and what they do to children. So then when they when they left you alone with this with this burden, taking care of these children, none of they, you know what I'm saying? None of, none of these motherfuckers try to make it right. They don't come get them, let your kids stay tonight, but want to self-sabotage you and say you a bad mama. She's a bad mama because she's laid in the bed all day. Oh, what? fuck you, bitch. That's not a bad mama. Bitch, that's a tired mama. And then let's stop doing, let's less more gossiping and talking and let's start fucking helping. It takes a village to raise a child. Yeah, it do. They don't help you because they want to physically drain you and break you down. They don't help you because they need you to be powerless so you can feel unworthy. But you are a woman. You are, you are the womb who brought these children into this, into this paradigm. Spirit say you are worthy. Look how the, look at a mother pregnant in the ocean. Nature, you are nature. God is saying the woman is nature. 
But a lot of people reject a woman, don't they? Oh, my back hurt, spirit. <clears throat> the woman. You came from a woman. Many women died even just bringing children in the world. Shut one of the windows. Many women died even bringing children in the world. Then you start having kids who talk back to you and shit. Oh my God. You talking back and you... Oh, you talking back. Because these motherfucking demons then call CPS now. So you think your mama ain't going to tap your ass. So what they going to say? If I tap you on your ass to try to train you in the right way, your mama's the wrong one? Why they always want to blame the mamas? They talk back. And you got to raise these type of children? Collective, we was good children. We ain't never talk back, but we got the most ass whoopings. Tell the truth. I guarantee you loved the ones who you was around. You loved them and, and gave your heart and everything. You were so compassionate. They took that shit for granted. We the ones got the most ass whooping. These days, these kids talk back like it's just a, like it's something like it's a trend. It's a trend they see on TV. They see that shit outside. They see people talking back or, or women getting beat on. It's a trend. They pick it up instantly. Fuck no, you got to take these kids in the wilderness away from everybody who's misleading them. And you got to really train your kids along. I'm telling you, out the fucking system and what they see. That's what ancestors saying do. Stop talking. You got boy, my son, 13 years old. That boy talk back so much. And then talk back and do it the same tongue he talking back with. Well, turn around and ask you for something. You just got done talking shit. Then you asking me for something. You got to tell the truth with our children. That's the only way you're going to set them free. I ain't saying they bad children. I'm just saying uh, when it comes to certain things. Like allowing your mother to, if you see your mother working on something for y'all. Because what I'm doing is not for me. This is for y'all. Why not support your mama? Yeah, you got a baby brother and sister. Sometimes your mama be tired. You play with your friends outside, but when you come in here, you want me to ask you to play with them? Like when they mad at me, they won't even play with their brother and sister. I got to add, they like they want me to ask them. They think they hurting me, but they really hurt their brothers and sisters. Because I see the shit. How dare you? This is a spirit we need to call out. I'm fin Let me finish reading these cards. You can't take God out of your household. And wherever you go, if, it, if, 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 it, if, if, it's, if it's not that spirit, I'm telling you, it is so important to teach your children about God and the relationship and who they are, I'm telling you. You understand? And I'm not talking about who they are like, oh, you are a Jones or you're... No, I'm talking about who you are with your DNA. What background and who you come from with your DNA, your lineage. Teach them that so that they'll know who they are and have value to themselves. Huh? Okay. It's, they still see me. I can still see. Yeah, it's dark. It's dark. I do need some backdrop lights, but uh, hey, if I'm trying to plan on, you know, Lord, I just don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm to the point now, I don't want to question God. I don't want to question him about nothing that I'm feeling. Because I told you all that I was having dreams and visions. Spirit was telling me, get to the mountains. I didn't even know how to get to the mountains. I just obeyed, and when I was able to, I went to the mountains. It was so peaceful. It's almost as if God wanted me to feel a different environment. Because spirit is saying, don't come a product of your environment if your environment is not a thriving. If you if you in a product, uh, uh, if you are in an environment that's not thriving, hell no, you don't want to become a product of that environment. What the fuck? Your air ain't good. Your soil ain't good. Your 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 concrete, your construction ain't good. Everything dying and failing in this fucking city. I'm talking about your water not good. Your soil not good. You're not producing good produce because the trees are dying. You can tell by the, okay? So that means your construction is bad. When you're riding on the highway, you're losing tires and shit. So many potholes. So that means you motherfuckers ain't even paying taxes. So what that means? That means you motherfuckers is not thriving. This And you want to become a product of an environment like that? Or do you want to go to the city where they got clean water, clean soil and grass where you can plant and your produce will um, come up with a nice harvest? It's, do you want clean air? Do you want to put your kids in an environment where the schools is thriving, where they actually care 
about your child's education and not misleading them? Or do you want to stay in the hood where your child, they going to they gonna, they gonna teach your child wrong shit? They gonna, they, I'm telling you, it's all about what you envision. And I don't know what the Holy Spirit is telling me, but I know I, I hear him saying this. I'm not afraid to go into the mountains with my children. They act better when they're not around people for some reason. That's the only time I can get my respect. That's the only time they give me love is when they're not around other people. So that means right now they're not, too, they're not strong enough to be in the city yet because I know that they're easily tempted. And enticed to do other things or be like other people. They can't, they don't have a mind of their own yet. So it's time to take them into the wilderness and train them. Then one day when God ready, I, I'll get us a, some land with a house built. But right now, they, I just feel like God is saying, take them where they don't got to see all this. And if they if this don't change you, this, this means you putting on an illusion too. Because if you can't, I mean, that's why you have to develop the spirit, the spirit of God. It's a spirit. It's a, it's a spirit. Develop it on your own constantly, constantly, constantly praying because we are sinners. But it's just having that compassion in your. Do you got space in your heart for God? Do you got space in your heart to believe the unknown, or do you just think you're gonna be here? I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> See, spirit it keeps saying secrets reveal, like they throwing it in somebody's face. Bam! Secrets reveal. Bam! Secrets reveal, bam! Like ancestors, we already know that. You keep rubbing it in these people's face. Spirit, during this time, is the world is going through a cleansing. Spirit saying, Mother Gaia is here. She is purging. She is birthing a new generation. She is saying, out with the old. I'm seeing spirit blood go into the ground, and I'm seeing resurrection babies coming up. I'm seeing like light coming up. Is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing light coming up. I'm seeing blood going into the ground. And I'm seeing like spirit soul lights coming up. So this is a cleansing spirit is saying out with the old in with the new. I'm seeing it like that. That is the cycle that I'm seeing that is changing. Okay. It's out with the old in with the new. Out with the old. So that is going into the ground. In with the new. That is ascension. That is rebirth. That is resurrection. Okay. Secrets revealed. Ancestors say. Secrets revealed. I realize I'm going to keep this one kind of short only because when I upload the video for like an hour or something, I mean, when I up, yeah, when it's like an hour or something, it takes forever on this device to upload. My videos say like uh, 60 something minutes just to upload uh, an hour long video. So unfortunately with that, um, this one is at 27 minutes right now, but I'm going to just see if ancestors have anything else they want to say. And then I'm going to tend to my children. I know y'all understand what it's like. And I thank y'all for doing that. Spirit want me to let go of that shame. Tell your story, show your truth. Why would you hide that? Why would you hide what you're going through? When you, you hell yeah. If you hide it, you're going to allow yourself to keep struggling alone. You don't want to struggle alone and you don't want your kids growing up. And when you know your kids ain't got nobody, you got to make a way for your children. You, because I'm going to tell you, people can hate you just because who their parents is. People could not like your children just because who they, who, who their parents was. So they ain't going to deal with your children. Now your children left alone, left alone in this world and can't get no help. So I don't do this for me. I do this for my children. And I want them to understand that. This is I'm building your legacy so that when I leave, they know who you are. You can go, like Harriet Tubman, you can go to certain connects and resources and get you some help. Because you ain't going to get no help from, I'm telling your own people, babe. You're going to have to meet you some strangers and I need these people to know who you are. You understand? Yeah, it's that type of, it's that type of thing. That's how serious it is. It ain't about what nobody else got. It's about what I can get for myself, for my children. It ain't about what nobody else got or what you had or what you took from me. God gonna give me all that back anyway because I'm his. And he'll never leave his child out in the cold like that. You understand? So it don't even matter about what you, you don't, and you want to kill me behind what? Walk away. It's okay. I accepted. I made, I, I made acceptance to this shit. It is what it is. Now I got to work on this for my kids, my generation. Y'all keep that shit on over there and figure all that shit out. Figure it out. Leave me up out of it. I don't want no parts of that. If I sacrifice anything, I'm going to do it behind my own household. It ain't going to be all that shit y'all got me entangled in, that triangle and all that third party shit. I don't want no dealings. That is not in my jurisdiction. That is not in my jurisdiction. Ancestors really okay. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing like these, I'm seeing like a web, but it's like almost like a cellular, a cellular with the, you know how you, you know how the moment of conception when the sperm meets the egg, it's, it sends this super charge. I'm visualizing that right now. I'm seeing like a cellular spirit is talking about, um, 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 gifts that were passed down from your, from your, uh, like from the ethers, the ether, your etheric cords. This is like the, this is like your, the, your blood vessels. I'm seeing it as vessels, but it's like the, it's like the cells of the universe. You understand? I'm seeing like sparks of cells of the universe. Spirit is saying your blessings have been, your gifts have been, um, like passed down through the cells of the universe. I'm seeing, I'm seeing like, um, power charges cells. I'm seeing, okay. That's the best way I can explain this y'all. That's how I'm seeing it. It's like a web, but it's like all these sparks of light and it's like conception. It's like, you know, like this spark of the universe. Like I'm seeing like a, 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 a ch <laughs> I cannot fucking explain it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So that's how I'm seeing you get your information. These cells are recharging your body. I'm seeing it coming from the divine. It's so beautiful. I want, I wish you could, maybe you do see it how I see it. I'm about to get off of here, y'all. I'm about to get off of here. It's like this grandmother is standing behind this woman. I'm telling you, like this woman. I don't know what this is with this woman. Okay, but it's like I see a, I see like this, this, this grandmother figure as she's holding this like this fire rod. You know, it's like smoke and flame. So I don't know I, that to me that would look like hell. But it's like she's waiting on someone, waiting on this this daughter who is going through scarcity. There may be someone who is sick. Spirit is talking about someone who is sick. And to me, this woman here, what I'm seeing, though, this is like the woman, She, like I said, she's holding a fire rod, and I'm seeing flames, okay? Spirit saying scarcity. So it's like this, this this grandmother figure or whoever this woman is with the gray hair and spirit standing behind like she's waiting on someone. So I don't know if someone is sick. I don't know if someone passed away, Spirit is saying, okay? But I'm seeing her waiting with flames, okay? So take that as it resonate. I'm seeing the grandmother waiting on this person like someone is sick, like I don't know if someone is passing away. But this grandmother who is in spirit, it's like she got flames behind her. And she's waiting for this 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 person. She's standing behind her. So maybe, okay, it's like one foot in, one foot out. I don't know what that means. I heard that. One foot in, one foot out. So it may be somebody who's um, possibly still living, okay? Somebody who is like um, one foot in, one foot out. Someone who is probably like terminally ill, um, you know, uh, passing away. And may God be with them. May, you know, may you find peace and comfort during this time, whoever you are that is sick. May God and his angels surround you and give you peace and comfort um, during this time, whoever you are, okay? But that is what I see. If someone is um, one foot in, one foot out, Spirit is saying. This grandmother figure is with her. It's like she's with, wait her, with her waiting, but the grandmother figure got flames on her. So I don't know if this is like a, I don't know why I'm seeing that like that. Like, is the grandmother coming to collect this person? The grandmother was sent to hell behind someone, and this person is waiting on this person to be with them in hell. But I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, for real. Someone is mad, too. Okay? Someone is mad. Okay? I'm seeing the sun. I'm seeing the, uh, what is this? The sun and the crescent. The sun and the crescent is what I'm seeing. The sun and the crescent. The sun and the crescent is what I'm seeing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm seeing. All right, y'all. Is it raining? It was drizzling. It was drizzling. Liberation. Spirit says this is your liberation. You are about to receive great liberation. I'm hearing redemption. Redemption. I don't even know if that's the song. But I'm hearing that this is my redemption, redemption, liberation, okay, liberation. Yeah, you want to play the game? Yeah. I'm about to play the game with my 13-year-old, y'all. So if y'all got roadblocks, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and log in and look for, what's your name? The Blaze himself. <laughs> the Blaze himself. Little Blaze? The Blaze himself, capital T, H, capital T, the, H, E. Like the little dash thing. No. T-A-T. Blaze. Dan Dash himself. Yeah. 
So if y'all got Roblox, I'm finna play the game with my son. Y'all go ahead and log in online at the the Blaze himself. Yeah. The Blaze himself. You're right. Turn that down. Spirit is saying that okay, this grandmother is waiting over someone, like watching over someone. So if someone is sick, like I said, I see her with flames on. I'm hearing spirits say this is your redemption, liberation. But I'm also getting someone is in grief. Someone is grieving. Okay. Someone is sad. Someone is grieving during this time. And I want to say weeping may endure for a moment. But joy comes in the morning. For whoever that is that's weeping. Okay. Anything else spirit? What should I title this? I don't know what the title is spirit. Ancestors say the road to redemption. That's what the title of this is. I just heard. Ancestors want me to call this the road to redemption. Okay. The road, the road to redemption is what I heard. What I don't have anything else. Miracles is on the bottom. Miracles is on the bottom. Okay. Your seasons to receive your miracles. Hold on. So the desires, spirit is saying. This is desire. You will have good things coming to you. If you desire good thoughts and good, you know, lead with good actions and good intentions. Things will work out for you, spirit is saying, okay? Someone is madly in love with you. They're in love with your talents. Someone loves you, adores your heart. Someone adores, like, everything about you, okay? Someone sees the good in you and sees the potential in you, spirit is saying. Someone is also um, heartbroken, don't want to let you go, or um, it's hard coming into realization that they have to watch you walk away alone, Spirit is saying, okay? But you're going to be okay. You are someone who is powerful. Continue to use your intuition. Continue to not doubt yourself and trust what it is that you are hearing at all times. Live out loud. Don't allow the enemy to make you feel like what you're going through um, is too embarrassing for you to speak about it. Don't let the enemy make you feel like, yeah, because it's too loud in your house. You need to stop working. Spirit say, fuck that. Put the shame down. It is what it is. This is your life. Allow, just allow yourself to be you unapologetic, uh, unapologetically is what spirit is saying. Okay. Allow yourself. Yeah. It's been a lot of storms, even in, all over. I've been seeing though. Yeah. It's a lot of storms. Okay. Oh yeah. It's, it's clear, clearing things out. She's bringing the storms. Oya is bringing the storm. Yes, she is. Mayat giving and receiving. So this is judgment being. This is this is judgment. This is judgment. This is in regards to a lot of people who you know. You were giving so much, giving all, all giving, 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 giving your love, giving your attention, giving your time, giving your space, and these people are just taken. Mayat and Oya. It's causing storms during this time. Okay? What is it? What is it? Yeah. Now, y'all see that? The card flew out of my hand. Creativity. Told you the manipulation. They always asking me for something. Always, y'all. Suck you dry, I told you. Want to see you broke, struggling. I don't know why. I don't know why. Anything else, Spirit? I feel like I need to get something else real quick. Can you stop that? You do need a mentorship. You need somebody who can mentor you. Yeah, a powerful. You need somebody powerful who can mentor you. And y'all need to be in a private school. Y'all really wouldn't act the way that y'all act. Where my thing at? Cut the heat on. You don't have to clean my room this morning. Hold on. I'm on live recording. Cut the heat on. Where's my topic to my other tarot cards? It was just like right here. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so let's just, I just feel like I just was wanted to pull one of these cards for you all, okay? Yes, I do. feel like I want to pull one for y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for y'all love. 
Thank y'all for y'all friendships. You know, thank you for giving me a chance in a world that always kind of just like took from me. It feels good when I can, you know, receive sometimes. I'm tired of people taking from me. And that's everything. And your whole life, you go through life and you think people, have, I mean, you just always had this. People always wanted to just hold on to you. And they thought that by mistreating you or they thought by abusing you or whatever it is that they've done to you, they thought that it was going to keep you there or keep you coming back. But they not knowing that, look, you, you outgrew some things. You have to forgive yourself for the things that you did not know. The things that you, you know, you just, you didn't know at the time. But they need to know that you only get a one chance in a lifetime with a, with a God-gifted person. When God sends somebody God-gifted heavenly in your life, not saying that they perfect. I'm not perfect. I be so tired, y'all. Okay? But when God sends you somebody in your life, you only get one chance with that person. I'm telling y'all. Spirit keeps saying, do something, dance with the life, do something to change your energy. I'm trying to, Spirit. I'm trying to change my energy by changing my environment. And that is why I'm, I'm seeking a vehicle for my children, my family. Okay? I am trying to do something different and dance with life. Spirit say, change, do something to change your energy. Well, how do you change your energy? You must eliminate some things and change your environment. Eliminate some people and change your environment. It won't nothing change if it doesn't change. If you don't change, you have to change for things to keep changing. So I do want to get a vehicle, Father God, because our truck is stopping. Stop, Bubba. Stop. Our truck is stopping. Spirit is saying you've been training for lifetimes. Like for, I'm going to get off of here. I do appreciate you all so very much. Thank y'all for understanding. Okay? And, and I'm going to tell you something. Stay prayerful. God sees all. Stay prayerful. Okay? Shut your door, Jacor. I got a 13-year-old and a 12-year-old. I want y'all to see the truth because I don't want to hide my, my story. That'll be me. I have to learn to express myself and let y'all know the truth. Because guess what? You be in a world like me, you already ain't got no family that you can call and talk to. You ain't got nobody who can cry on your shoulder. Then people turn their back on you and expect you to shut the fuck up and not say nothing about it. So I need to start being open and true to myself. Okay? And anybody that's, who accepts you for who you are, being true to you, them the people that you need to be around. Because you, you are in this life to experience life and grow. You're not in this life to stay in this. Okay, you didn't know all of these things before, but now that you know. It's time to rise up out of the pain. Don't ever allow nobody to keep hurting you because they're thinking that they're doing something slick to keep you in this fear of not leaving them. Spirits say that is the wrong thinking. You know how many people I had to walk away from who thought like that? When God started showing me how these people really was, friends and all, ex-lovers, it seemed like everybody I used to date, y'all, God used to take them from me. I promise. It seemed like everybody I used to date, after I left them or whatever, they always ended up going to jail. So spirit is saying, I'm hearing this right now. God is saying, spirit is saying that you, I and you, you are karma. Do you understand? You are walking karma. That's why it's, 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 it's a need not to, to cross nobody that you don't know their spiritual relationship. You shouldn't cross nobody when you don't know how connected they are with spirit. You should never cross nobody when you don't know their ranking in spirit. Because I'm going to tell you something. You are walking karma. You get to seeing people that you've seen and they didn't hurt you. And then now they ass getting locked up. You don't know why they're getting locked up. It seemed like God always. And you look back at it. And you say, God always. God took everybody from me that I loved. Yeah, because they didn't love you. That's why he removed these people from you. Do you ever realize that? I didn't think like that when I, when I was in love and naive. And I'm like, oh, you know, they left me. Boys used to just want my body and leave. And I used to cry. And then God started showing me things started happening. Like when I moved on, I, you know, such and such locked up. They always, something always happened to their ass. You are walking karma because you're not supposed to hurt God's child. So I want to tell you that. I'm going to leave that right there with y'all. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. I need y'all to. Thank y'all. Good night.